Yo, so I am out at Torrey Pines right now. Yes, the Torrey Pines, one of the most legendary PGA golf courses ever. I'm here right now. I'm staying at the lodge at Torrey Pines, which this course is just absolutely gorgeous. Like I can't describe to you what it feels like. As a sports fan, if you are a golf fan, this is just amazing to be here. So I'm highly excited to be here. I'm here with Black People Outside, which is an amazing group couple, just like me and Sarah from my podcast. They go around outside nature, explore, and their whole purpose is to encourage people to step outside their comfort zone and actually explore the outdoors, which is dope. And they're black, so it makes it even cooler. We're here with Chevy for their first drive event for the Chevrolet Colorado, which is an amazing truck. If you are an adventurer, if you are somebody who just wants something that's cool and kind of like hip, and Chevy has really done something for you with this car. And it's amazing. Like, I'm so happy. Thank you, Chevy. Thank you, Black People Outside, for inviting me to come along and help document this whole thing. It's an absolutely amazing car. You all will love it. Check out Black People Outside's page because that's what they're talking about. They will do all that for you and, and kind of let you know what's going on. I'm actually not going to talk to you about any of that. <laughs> so what I'm actually going to talk to you about is the Canon 28 to 70 millimeter uh, zoom lens, which in my opinion is my personal favorite lens. I just absolutely love this thing. It is one that stays on my camera body at all times, unless I need something with a wider focal length. Uh, I absolutely love this thing. You all will love this thing, and that's what I hope to do here uh, as you see people walking by me getting their tea time on right now. <laughs> yeah, thank you. <laughs> all right, y'all, so I'm out here, uh, like I said, with Chevy and Cam while we do talk about Chevy. Again, mm -hmm. go follow their page. They'll talk about that. Black people outside. Yeah, black people outside. Go follow them. Um, but we inside R I R E I. Yes, this is your first time here. First time here in R E I, and uh, they got mountain food, y'all. Like I didn't even know that was a thing. We about to pick out some mountain. Look at this. Though. Look at the mountain food right here. Yeah, like like some of this did lit. I ain't gonna lie. Yeah. I ain't We're gonna about to pick out some a couple things. Um, <laughs> Come three, on. Three piece a three piece. Spice all, you, all you gotta do is run some water over it. <laughs> Look at this. This one is uh, three bean chili mac. This, I definitely want this one. I think I'm this gonna try one. the chicken alfredo pasta. Lord have mercy. Chicken alfredo pasta. You see? You see? Chicken and rice. Oh, yo! 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 So these are called peak something. And then Mountain Meal has this. <laughs> we, got, we got people out here. If y'all not following black people outside, because like they got me being a black person outside right now, this is this is exactly what they want. This is not just for black people though. Yeah. This is for everybody. This is for everybody. This, this is for everybody. This is for everybody. This, this is for everybody. Yeah, yeah. And then we needed to get some butane fuel for our camp stove. Ooh, you see? Yeah. You, you see? Yeah. And you just add water. You heat up the water and you add it and you eat it. Oh, and when you yeah. can, you can it. Ah, look at y'all thinking everything. See? I'd be down bad, even with my fingers, like I do anyway. So they were telling me though, which makes sense. Um, you actually need to get the TSA. You have to get the ones that are not serrated. Well, I so mean, that's it's not pointy. Yeah, not pointy. Serrated, right. but it can't be pointy. Like oh, got can be blunt. I bet. Yeah, it can't be like really. Can be. Look at that. Can be pointy like this. It's a little too sharp, like... so you gotta be soft. Yeah, it's gotta It'll be soft. Like... Gotta be a weak ass knife. You gotta have one of them. You can't be out. You can't be out here. So there's just a few things that I absolutely love about this camera lens, and there's a few things that I, that I wish would change. Not that I don't want to say that I don't like, but there's just a few things that I would absolutely like change if I could about this lens. But first, the good. The first thing is this is a 28 to 70 f2 lens, and if you don't know what any of that stuff means, let me tell you, f2 is the aperture. It's a very fast aperture. And the, what makes this lens so special is that at a 28 to 70 focal length for it to be an F2 aperture is absolutely insane. I don't think there's been a lens quite like it in this range, you know, wide and long type of lens. I don't think there's anything done like that. 
this gives you absolutely some of the best pictures ever. And let me say this, let me say this, because I was like kind of critical of the, I had the RF uh, 50 millimeter, which is a 1.8 aperture. And I used to say that that was like a cheat code because whenever you have like a fast aperture like that, it's easy to get great pictures. So for me, it didn't make me a better photographer. It didn't absolutely at all make me a better photographer. And so I kind of said that was a crutch. So I kind of shied away from the F1.8 or anything like that that was super fast. But this one kind of changes the rules. Once I realized how to use the F4s, F5s and higher apertures, you know, I really understood like what a camera could do. The F2 aperture didn't scare me this time. I absolutely had to check it out. When I tell you game changer, when it comes to what this lens can do and the product that you get from it, I, I, don't, I think I'm underselling it. The F2 aperture is super fast, gives you that nice bokeh blurry effect whenever you want it. it for a lens this long and this wide, it's, it's just, I, it's just crazy how dope this is. You know what I'm saying? Like, it just, I'm a cheat code again. I'm just a cheat code. Right now, uh, we are about to shoot our little, one of our promos for the Chevrolet Colorado. This thing is gorgeous. Look at the color. Look at the color. Like, so we got this nice little drone shot we're gonna do. Got that over there. Gotta do a continuous shot is what I'm planning on doing here uh, for them. But it's like, now it's starting to warm up. These mountains are like kind of chilly. I didn't, I didn't expect, that's why I'm wearing Cam's <laughs> jacket. Your boy tried to be a South Side of Chicago and ooh, you know, <laughs> out here in the goddamn mountains, nobody give them. Anyway. Yeah, show did. She, Chevy did. Chevy gave me a list. Hey, look, do, do this. I even had a free sweater from Chevy. Like Chevrolet. There's Chevy and there's a Chevrolet. Yeah, whatever. And one thing I will say is, you don't need to shoot at an F2 all the time. And that's what I learned with the 50 millimeter lens F1. I didn't need to shoot it 1.8 all the time. I don't have to shoot it 2.0 all the time. You can actually shoot at a different aperture and still get great results you know and and that's what I learned and that's what this lens kind of encourages me to do because all the way up to I would say maybe like an f8 aperture you get tack sharp imaging from this lens and it's, it's just amazing so if you like this lens if you pick up this lens don't be afraid or any lens honestly to kind of work with what you have and use different apertures, give yourself some different results. This lens in particular does it fantastically. And like, honestly, I cannot stress enough how great this lens is at that. Thing number two that I really like about this lens is that this lens at a 28 to 70, the reason why it stays in my bag is because it has that range. Now, most people will probably say, you know, I need the 24, the extra four millimeters gives me just a little bit length, a little bit more length and wider uh, range. But honestly, you don't really miss that extra four millimeters. I, at least I don't, I don't miss it. You know what I mean? Like I don't miss it at all. I'd rather exchange that for that tax sharp image. You know what I mean? Like it's just a standout feature. So for me, having something that is both a wide and a long focal length, and for me to not have to change anything is just amazing. And here's why that matters, right? So I'm a photographer. So as a photographer, you don't want to keep switching lenses when you're on a job. And this lens right here allows me to kind of keep one lens on and not have to switch. Now, if I do want something that's a little bit wider, of course, I will switch if I have to. I have a 16, 35 EF because RF is still expensive. But I have it in my bag as like a backup, 70 to 200, you got that. Uh, so there's still a place for the other ones, but this for the most part really covers a lot of different lenses. Like I said, I have the 50, which is an F1.8. This is an F2 at the same aperture, you know, at the same focal length. Not that big of a difference, one stop difference, not bad. I kept it, I keep it, I love it. Just so incredibly dope. All right, right now we are in, uh, what is this? Cleveland Forest? Cleveland, Cle National Forest. Cleveland National Forest. And uh, 
that this shot is absolutely insane. Absolutely insane. Like, check it out. This is crazy. Look at back there. Glacier. The sun is actually going crazy. Uh, here is uh, the great blizzard of San Diego. Right here, Southern California. The great blizzard. Look at that. There's a great blizzard. There it is. Very blizzardy here. <laughs> the third thing that I like is actually something I like and don't like about it at the same time. Let me explain. What I like about it is the weight of it. This thing is a monster. <laughs> I don't, I don't want to shortchange that at all. This is absolutely one of the largest lenses that I've ever owned and most people in this focal range, I, I, I should disclaim, will ever have. It's heavy. It's like three pounds. So when you add this to a camera, you're looking at five, six, seven pounds just in the camera body and the lens. But I like it. It feels good in my hand. Like, I don't know, it just feels really good to have something that's a little bit bulkier, it makes me feel like a photographer. I don't know, it just, I, I like it, you know? So I just like it, I don't know. I can understand why most people just won't like it. The thing is heavy, it's very heavy. And tea time. <laughs> I get it why if some people don't like this lens because of the weight, it's absolutely a monster. It wrists, long shoots, Carrying it around in the bag, it can be exhausting. I can't tell you how many times that I've been on the shoot and I actually had to like just set that down and just leave it alone. It, it, it could be a bit of a challenge. The second thing that I don't like about it, but again, I kind of understand the price. This thing at right at $3,100, $3,099, $3,099, however you want to say that, it's a, it's a monster on your wallet. You know what I mean? Like, so if you are hardcore, if you're into this, you really have to be into this to kind of justify that cost. I don't want to play with anybody's money, never do, but $3,000, that's a lot of hard earned cash that you got to spend on just the lens, the body that I'm using. You all know I have the Canon R6 Mark II, that's $2,500. The lens is more than that. So, I. <sighs> You know, it's hard to justify, so I get, I get it. So that, I would say that's kind of one of my negatives. I don't know, you know what I mean? Like, if you got it, get it. If you don't, there's other options. There's the 24 to 70, which is a bit more affordable, still pricey, but just a bit more affordable and it's lighter. There's other options, you know, for different lenses out there. Whatever, make what you want of it. I can't even say that I don't hike. I can't say I don't, because I've been hiking like the last three years. <laughs> so, yeah. It just chill, yeah. Like only, only Chevrolet could have got me to do this and black people outside. That combo, you can't say no to. You really can't. <laughs> Those are my pluses and minuses of this lens. I mean, I'm out here, I'm shooting footage. The footage has been fantastic. The field looks great. This lens is the whole reason for it. I mean, this whole experience has been fantastic. Thank you, Chevy, for allowing me to capture some dope footage of the new Chevy Colorado. Absolutely of a monster of a truck. I love it. Uh, I, if I had it, I would definitely get one. So if y'all want to send one over to your boy, Hey, I'm not mad at you either. But shout out to Tory Pines, the Lodge of Tory Pines. Thank you for having us and Chevy and black people outside for bringing me along. This has been one hell of an experience. If you really like this lens, please grab it. I would encourage if you can get it, get it. It's great. That's my two cents on it. You can make what you want of it. All right, we about to finish up the day. Uh, got down hot plate or kitchen right here. A, camp, a portable camp stove. Portable camp stove. Hey, shout out Snow Peak. Uh, we about to eat some, uh, some, some, what is it, mountain? Mountain, mountain food. Mountain meals. Mountain meals. Peak, peak refuel. Peak refuel. So, we gonna eat that, but hope y'all been enjoying this little trip. It's been fun. Black people outside, go follow them. Um, this camera lens is fire. This Colorado is absolutely a monster, really. A monster. Smooth ride. 
fast. Uh, huge tires. I don't know. I don't know what to talk about. Like a truck. I don't know. It's, it's dope. Shout out to Chevrolet for letting us drive it. Peace. And finally, some good vibes. If nobody told you, I'm gonna tell you, I love you. Y'all, keep on, stay on your grind, man. Just be happy, enjoy life, man. Don't forget whatever is going on. I love you, somebody out there loves you, man. Just keep smiling, keep working hard, do what you gotta do. I love you, until next time, I will see you. Peace. Oh, my God.